sugar and spice There's an apple pie in Sammy's Cottage Kitchen Hi and welcome to Sammy's Cottage Kitchen One more time And here I am with my beautiful granddaughters today Well, it's a, it's a terribly hot day Yeah, so we said cooking, not too much we're going to do things that are a little bit on the cold side. Now, if we'd have been smart, we'd have probably just got a watermelon. Yeah. No, we're, we're, we're but with this that. kind of help, why would I do a watermelon, right? Sure. I'd like to introduce my granddaughter here to my left. That's Desiree Mesmer. And to my right, Danae Mesmer. And I'm Sammy, because that's why it's Sammy's Cottage Kitchen. These girls have been cooking with me and their mom and dad since they're knee-high to a grasshopper. I guess that's my father's expression. <laughs> but we are doing traditional foods because it just seems like the right thing to do with children. And I said in another show, people were asking what do you call your style of cooking, and I said it's um, down-home country cooking with a flair because I have training also in Europe and in chef school. But I still like making the down-home things. You just learn how to finesse. For example, today we're going to make ice cream, but we don't make it from a cooked custard that years ago we made like a pudding type custard with cornstarch and all. Now we make it, um, it's called creme anglaise, really. It's very elite uh, because it's made with egg yolks. You separate a dozen eggs, uh, yolks go into the custard and the egg whites get held. We can, you can make meringues out of that later or whatever you want to do. And so that really works well. Now we're going to start with, uh, oh, what we're going to do with this, we're making a vanilla homemade ice cream. And we used to crank it as kids, but now we don't crank anymore because, uh, yeah, we couldn't even find a crank machine, but they're a lot of fun. But we're still cranking on butter because we need more butter. No! <laughs> What do you do if you haven't got butter? You can't cook. And what, did you melt the cow this morning? Or did I, or what? Anyway, we're gonna make butter in between it all, but we're not cranking ice cream. We're gonna make it go electric. We're also gonna make a rhubarb punch. It's the most wonderful lemonade you'll ever taste. And it's made with cooked rhubarb. At this time of the year, it's kind of the end of summer, or the, after the young rhubarb, it's too tough to make into desserts, but it's just awesome for rhubarb punch. So we're going to make the ice cream, and Desiree over here is going to make um, an Oreo cookie and Graham wafer cookie crust, and we're going to put it into this uh, form pan because we're making an ice cream cake. And it's going to be their design and their style, so you can imagine there'll be some, some kind of fun stuff in it. What are we putting in it? We are putting Oreos, of course. Baby um, Oreos, big Oreos. And M&Ms. Oh, M&Ms. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna be a yum, yum. Well, I'm gonna get busy with a little bit of rhubarb and maybe I'll just turn the butter while you girls get busy with doing the uh, stuff you have to do. It's gonna be a little noisy here for a few minutes when she's beating up all the eggs. So you've got everything you need? Yeah. Have had her. I'll get Let's over go. here. See what you're doing? Okay, dump it in. And that one too. Mm -hmm. And you know the spoons and forks and things are right below you. Yep. So graham wafer crumbs and twice as much Oreo cookie crumbs. That's what we're having. Mix them together. You need to have a dozen eggs. Dozen eggs. Actually, we did ten. Okay. Ten. Six ten eggs. No, okay. ten eggs. With 300 grams sugar? Uh, yes. And 300 grams of sugar. And you're going to show, these recipes are, I'll bring it over here so you can see it better, are, um, European recipes, so they always come in grams and things like that. And we brought out the big mean cooking machine that's behind here because you have to really whisk the egg yolks until they're very foamy, and you got to add the sugar until it's very foamy. And we'll do a close-up of that later. Right now, we're going to work around each other, and I'm just going to kind of oversee what they're all doing. I've got the water simmering because we're going to throw the rhubarb in there as soon as we get it done. And I'll crank the butter machine. Ha-ha! <laughs> well, I didn't say I was going to crank it till it's done. I'm just going to crank it somewhat. I guess I have to go faster. 
Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. And of course, every egg has to be separated separately. If you don't do that, you can have a bad egg in the batch. And that's not a good deal. Then you ruin everything. Desiree's just now putting butter into this dish. It's a little bit, maybe too much. Take one teaspoon out. Like one, about half of, yeah, that. Because you can always add, but you can't take it out if you've put too much in. Now she's gonna microwave that butter and melt it. Put it on about 25 seconds, okay? I'm glad she can reach. I'm just standing here being the boss. It's kind of cool. And cranking butter. Oh. Well, we have to get the, um, we definitely have to get the pan out for the custard because I have to get the milk into the, into the pan because you have to preheat the pan. And I'll put the um, cream for the butter until we have time back in the fridge. And I have to get some uh, coffee milk out of the fridge because that's what has to be preheated. I'll explain how the custard works as I go. So you need a little bit of rich cream too because, I mean, after all, let's face it, this is not going to be good for you. Okay, so pour half of it in at a time and then mix it up. How are you doing with the eggs, Danae? Pretty good. Good. Got to get that custard happening because it all has to chill before we can turn it into ice cream. So I use one liter of half and half, like well, I guess it's called 10%. No, it's half and half. But then to make it really even worse, I put in real cream, so it's not even half and half anymore. <laughs> we are gonna have to buy a cow with all this butter and cream that we're using, honestly. So you have to preheat that. And Danae's gonna whisk up the eggs and the sugar. And then custards have to be coddled. And we'll show that as we go. How are you doing, is that too wet? No, it's pretty mm, good. A little bit too wet, we're gonna add some more crumbs to it. That's all right, because we'll just save some back for the topping, right? Exactly. Yeah. You know, I used other chocolate crumbs for doing this. It just wasn't quite as good. So don't be afraid to spend the extra dollar on the real Oreo cookie crumbs because they are, they're very good. There you go. Now you know what to do. You're gonna take about two thirds of that and you're gonna put it into this pan, right? And press it down in the bottom. And I'm just gonna turn this milk down so that it doesn't get too hot before Danae is ready. Two thirds. I'm going to take, this is our ice cream maker right here. The, and this is the electric motor that goes in it. I got this for $2 at a garage sale somewhere at Marine Lake. My sister and I were fighting over it, I won. I said, I'm cooking more than you. I'm gonna put it on the floor just to get it out of our way because I've got to get the rhubarb into the boiling water. All right. I'm just overseeing. You notice that I'm just doing nothing so I don't have to do the butter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. I'll put it in the freezer. We got a freezer right handy here. I don't think it'll fit in that one. We have to put it in this one. Okay. Goes right into the, do you wanna, just wait. We'll cover things. There's where we put it into the freezer drawer. We're gonna take this out too, cause we're gonna need that. We add that to the rhubarb punch. Noise. Okay, Bye. now it's gonna get noisy. So you and I have to start, just clean up your little mess here, put it in the sink. And we're going to start doing the rhubarb. Maybe we'll just move over here, it's easier. Okay. Well, we'll go over here. 
We're all in one corner, so be careful. So you need a knife. What kind of knife do you want to use for cutting? A big one? Big one? Yeah. yeah. There. Yeah. Move the butter over. We're all in one little corner, one happy little family here. Okay, so you start cutting. How am I cutting it? Just in chunks, like this. I'll show you. Right, like. And then we're gonna throw them over in the water behind you. Got Just it. like that, it's really simple. Okay. How you doing? I, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. It's a little loud. <laughs> we have to yell at each other. Quiet time. You want to do this part and I'll chop? Oh, yeah. Okay, you just cut off that end. Looks like they're a little tougher than, than I thought. Yeah. And I'm quick. And you're going to do the butter. I'm doing the butter? <laughs> I'm getting out of everything I have. I don't want to do the butter, so I'm doing everything else. rough cut. It doesn't matter because it's all just going to cook into a mush and then get strained out, right? Yep. Aren't you glad we're not doing too much cooking? That's yeah. enough cooking, making the custard and the stuff. Have you got all the sugar in? Okay, I should explain what's going on. Just keep on going with that. Danae has um, got all of the egg whites whipping like crazy. We'll show you in a minute. And she has to add the sugar a little at a time. Otherwise, it'll just not whip up. It has to whip up to be very frothy. So one of those little cups every, a little bit more, I think, now. Because it's, basically, it's conditioning the egg yolk. OK? Let's get it all in. There you go. And uh, the milk is ready now. Because we need to get this stuff really nicely settled and happening. Okay. You got these done? Yeah. Okay, so you can take the pan away. Put it in the corner. An easier way to do this for me is just to chop them up right over the water bowl. Desiree, you go get the butter out of the fridge and crank away, please. Are you ready to take this off? Yeah. Okay, and you just put the, oh, the beater over to the side here. Well, it doesn't matter, just move it around. You might notice she doesn't really want to do the butter. <laughs> I'm just gonna hop behind you girls. All I'm doing is swishing off and getting all the dirt off the rhubarb, throwing it into the boiling water and we're gonna bring it to heat and let it boil. We're gonna let it boil for about uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, thank you. Just let me come over there to help you with that. I just gotta get this rhubarb started. Okay. Now, like I said, custard takes some coddling. Now I'm gonna move this to the back. Yes, but I've gotta do the, shut this off because we gotta be able to see what we're doing. 
Okay, so now, this is important to watch. This has been brought to a nice heat, and we want to be able to show you how nice and frothy this is. It's very smooth and silky. It's just yolks and butter. No, no butter. Yolks, no, 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 yolks just, and sugar. sugar, and we're gonna put vanilla when we go. Okay. So now, in order to keep the custard from curdling, this is called tempering. You put the heated milk, one scoop at a time, into the egg mixture. A little more. Yeah. Now we're gonna do another scoop. If you don't do this. Because of the amount of egg yolks that's in there, it will definitely curdle. And you don't want that to happen. And we do about four of these scoops, like this. And we need a scraper, like pot liquor. I don't even know what to call it. People call them pot liquors, I guess. Like spatula? Yeah. Different yeah, I don't even know what people call it. Are you winning? You're doing a great job. Who knows? Here. Okay, let's get it in there. Okay, go on the other side of me. There we go. Okay. Scoop it out. And right away start whisking it. Yeah. Okay, I gotta whisk. Do you wanna take it? I can't put it down. Boy, we put, we're like the deaf leading the blind. Yeah. We don't want to lose any of that precious egg and sugar mixture. And this has to be now on a very low heat. And that's what you have to do. Now we're going to just get this custard all cooked up. It takes a little bit of time and it takes time for the rhubarb to cook up. And then we will chill it and then we'll come back to you and we'll show you how we get the churn together and get the ice cream happening. Well, here we are with the custard. It's looking mighty fine. And we're going to, you see it's very smooth and silky. It seems like it's not thick enough, but it's really important. Use it a little pinky like this to put your finger in. I can stand it, but just, which means the eggs are cooked. So I can take it off of the heat. I'm gonna need one of these potlakas. And as you can see, my granddaughter's doing a very good job. Desiree with the butter. It's turning into, what is it now? Look at that, it's already curdled up whipping cream, so that means it's almost butter. Okay, so now I'm going to take the custard, pour it into a bowl like this, a beautiful bowl. That's the very bottom of the pan now, just because I looked away for a couple of minutes, would have curdled, it would have curdled. The very bottom shows that. So that's how much you have to coddle a custard. Okay, I'm gonna get you to clean that up too, sweetheart. Thanks. Much harder to stir now. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Now I'm just gonna take this and chill it. I'm gonna put it in the fridge because Whoa. it has to be well chilled before you can do anything with it to make ice cream. We're gonna add the vanilla to it before we start to stir it up to make ice cream. Now magically, I'm gonna take a custard out of the fridge because this is the ice cream maker container. I need that whisk. Looking really good. Hey whisk, that'll work. Whew. See the, here you'll see now the texture of the custard when it's chilled. So now is the trick of making the ice cream. So, I also added a little vanilla before. Just take this and put this in here. I got great helpers. What I do is I do add a little bit of a full cream oh to it. I never like leaving my milk and cream products out, so I always have to go right in front of the camera. I put in about a half a cup of cream. It just makes it creamier. And now we're gonna show how we make that. This is gonna be for the rhubarb once it's cooked. Uh, where's the paddle? I saw it. See, there's a paddle like this. Desiree, I'm gonna stand right in front of you. Yep. And I just kind of do this sort of thing with it. It's 
always a little tricky getting it onto the machine, so I'm hoping I don't have too much trouble with that. So then you put the lid on, because we put the vanilla in yesterday already, right? And now we need the, the, the ice cream maker itself. There's a trick to making ice cream. You don't just put ice in it. I'm gonna get you to get the ice out of the drawer of the freezer, and we'll just put it over here in the sink. Okay. You actually need to have salt. Does anybody know why? Girls? Why you have to put salt on the ice? Dissolve the ice. It does. And you know what that does? It makes it colder. Did you know that? Makes it actually it makes it makes the ice colder than ice. So Gemma. that it can. Gemma. Look at that. It's almost there. Just about. You go, show, go show Cole where it's at. You just hold it in front there so he can have a look. Open it up. a bowl to put it in so that we can put it in. Like a pail, like this. You stole my spot? Gotta move. You'll have to move there. Sorry, we've just, there that goes, was that, my excuse that's like to. The, that's like the perfect high duck <laughs> you suck. I love you, but oh, come on. <laughs> that's the perfect height for me to crunch this good. I'll be out of your way in no time at all because this is going into the sink. So you have to center it in the middle like this. And the tricky part is getting this on ah. the square part of it. Oh! First try. Ooh. I tell you, it's handle. just super magic. And that goes down there, like this. Yeah. And this goes over top of it. And now, the trick is to get the ice into, like this. It, you gotta put the ice into it. Handfuls, you can help me too. We just put handfuls of ice into it, and then in between, you have to put in this particular kind of coarse salt. You can't just put regular salt in. I think the, the rhubarb needs turning down, so I'm gonna get over here for a minute. It's bubbling away. And this is like butter. We're always- Butter's with butter. You might notice we're always multitasking. Because why would we, why would we just do one thing? Did you say it's almost ready as butter? Yes. Awesome. That's like butter. Okay, how much is in there? So now I have to put a layer of salt in there like that. Don't have to measure. Not in this case, you just kind of just sprinkle it in like that. And now we're gonna do it over in the sink because I gotta plug it in while it's, it's otherwise it'll seize up. If we, um, Come back. it'll be very noisy. Can I have a look? And then bring the ice over here, Janae. Ooh. We gotta clear away some of the dishes, I guess. But it, See already how it's starting to clip, catch and click? Mama, is this ready? See how it's doing? Wait, I want to do a little bit more on this. Okay, you keep doing what I was doing. And you're going to need, yeah, you're going to need. And then you also take a wooden spoon like this. Come over to this side. And you shove, like you shove it down like that. But we have to do it in the sink because it's messy. Let's have a look. Wow, almost. You want to finish it, okay? I'm not going to. First, she didn't want to do it. Now she wants to finish it. <laughs> Excuse the noise. I guess pranking is not quite as noisy. It's just for the little mouse that's stuck in it. But as soon as we have that ready to go, it takes about 20 minutes. And then we're going to put it all together in the cake mixture that we put there with all the fun stuff in it. Hey, after when this is done, can I start chopping up Oreos? I gotta get a strainer. What was that? After I'm done this, can I start chopping up Oreos? Yeah. Oh. I need to finish the butter. It's important. I'm looking for the small colander. It looks like it's made. Butters! Butter! I can't find the small colander. So we have to use the big one. All right, you want to show? Yeah. 
What we did? Yeah. Look, she did it. Get, get it full. Get it full. The wonderful hmm? butter. Please sing. Get it all in there. Butter. Heavy butter. Butter. <laughs> okay, let's butter get it poured into here. Butter. We Want did a go? great job. Whoa. Okay, so now you take this. You, you dump it in here. Just use your fingers because you're going to have to wash it out. See? Come this side so we can see it. Let's just use your fingers to take it off and then you wash your fingers, okay? Yeah. Wow, that does not feel like butter, but it's butter. Okay, so the rhubarb um, punch is just about ready to be strained off. And uh, the butter is made. And the ice cream is just getting ready to be churned. And that's the noise. But we're going to take it outside so that it doesn't completely overpower us after a while. And uh, then we'll be right back to show you how we make the ice cream cakes. Well, here we are again, just picking it up. Now, the ice cream is outside because it's just so noisy. And we got Opa manning the ice cream machine. So, because it tends to stall up, which I want to explain to anybody who has one, make sure you don't leave it because you'll burn the motor out because sometimes a chunk of ice catches underneath. It's actually the best to use snow when you have win in the winter, but who wants ice cream in the winter? So yeah, what do you do? So right now we are getting prepared because the ice cream is getting prepared for the ice cream cake outside. I'm gonna strain off the cooked rhubarb here. I got all cooked up and smooshy. And I'm gonna strain it off into this bowl because it's gonna to have to chill. Danae is cutting up the lemons that are gonna go in it. Also needs some sugar and we're gonna put some limonade or lemonade in with it as well. Danae's over here, De Desiree's over here and she's chopping up some large Oreos because they're gonna be part of what's going into the ice cream cake. This is the girls' ideas, by the way. So, I'm going to, at the same time, work on the butter that Desiree <laughs> complained about but finished beautifully. What's really nice is you get a byproduct of the butter, which is buttermilk. And you can use it for making pancakes, and I suspect we're going to be doing that. Maybe waffles Ooh. tomorrow morning. So we're going to put this in the fridge just for keeping. And I'm going to wash the butter. So you just chop away, and you cut away, and I will strain this. And after that, I'm going to talk about a new recording. Wouldn't be normal for me not to be discussing something about the music we're making. So I'm just straining it off and letting it sit. It'll drain nicely. While it's hot, though, you have to put the sugar in and some of the lemons. We have to make the slices a little bit smaller. It's like, like do, do them this sideways, maybe this way. All right. Yeah, for these two, and we'll keep these as wedges. Put them back in here, because we'll need that for the schnitzel that we're making for our my family later. Sounds good. Anyway, she's chopping away. This is draining, and I'm going to be just doing up the butter. What I did, you'll see here, is I put cold water, because you want to work out all of the milk products in the butter because otherwise it'll become bitter. But I put some ice cubes even in with it because you really want that to come together in one lump. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to it as well. So, would you do me a favor and shut off our music for a minute? For sure. Jimmy, it's so awesome to have the girls here with me. When my husband and I got back from uh, Hawaii in uh, April, I think it was, I had a good friend that was struggling with um, four-stage cancer. And he was going to the cancer clinics and he took our album called uh, Life's Kaleidoscope and had them play it there and they liked it. So I was only two, home two days when the phone rang and it freaked me out a little bit because it showed on my screen that it was the cancer clinic in Hawaii. And of course, the first thing I thought about was my friend. But the good thing was that it, it was actually the cancer clinic calling me to ask a favor. And they said, could you please write a song that is an uplifting song for our cancer clinic patients? It was very unusual because for me to put cancer and uplifting in the same sentence didn't even make sense. But when you have a reason 
and you know it's for a good cause, it's amazing what, what you can do. When my friend called and I said, well, it's a tall order, they said, uh, yeah, but you got this. And I said, sure I do. And I hung up the phone and said, oh, I, I don't have this. But in that very moment, I realized that was the title of the song. It's called You Got This. And it's all about the fight. Only you can fight, no matter what you're struggling with. And this situation, the song is not just for cancer, but for any other struggle you might have with your health. And so I'm hoping you enjoy it. And as we're chopping, dicing, and doing a few other things right now, we're going to have you listen to the tune. I hope you enjoy it. It's called You Got This. Now I'm going to get you to bring the other things over here. It's a slap in the face when you get the news. When the doctor says, I know it's hard, hard to face the truth. But right now, you're in the fight for your life. There's a 50-50 chance. If you put up a fight, you got this. Though it feels bigger than you, it's a fight that you can't lose. So put up them dukes. He never knew you were so strong Even though the world is upside down And it feels all wrong You got this You got a lot of life to live A lot of live on to do Dig real deep, fight that fight You're living proof You got this Though it feels bigger than you It's a fight that you can't so put up them dudes, you got this. He never knew you were so strong, even though the world is upside down and it feels all wrong. You got this. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the song. Uh, I'm going to Hawaii actually in about three weeks because they've asked me at the clinic if I would please um, come and meet some people and do some pictures. There's two cancer clinics in Hawaii. And I'm filming this and letting you listen to it and getting it out there on the airwaves because I want people to hear the song because I think it speaks to a lot of people, and if it helps people, then I feel great about doing it. Right, girls? Yeah. Yeah. My girls who are very talented, my granddaughters, Renee here plays every instrument she picks up, and Desiree dances, and uh, they're both very, I'm very proud of them, I mean, I'm a grandma, but I'm very proud of them for good reasons. They're both honor students. I didn't catch that one. <laughs> Uh, the ice cream's almost made so that we can start making the, the um, 
cake, right? The ice cream cake. But in between that right now, we're going to do this. I've got to get a knife out of here. We're going to make a caramel sauce, an old-fashioned caramel sauce. Mm -hmm. Like I said, everything we're doing is quite old-fashioned. As a kid, we had this rhubarb punch. Now you're going to throw about six slices of the lemon in there too. So we did that after it cooled. We're going to put some in after and some now. It's for the flavor. And you're going to take some ice cubes out of the freezer and add them because it'll help chill it down faster. And then we can all have a drink of it because I think we've been cooking so much we need that. So Desiree, we're going to start over here with this. Caramel sauce probably was my mother's favorite thing. And so every time I make it, I think of her. That's your great grandma. Yeah. Yeah. One day we're going to make a, a recipe too that's cookies. And I'm putting a half a cup of butter and I'm not using the butter that we made because I think that's going to be just awesome when we're doing our having it on a bun mm -hmm. yeah it's just so much fun to make it right <laughs> once you get the final product it's a little more fun right at first you felt like your arm might fall off and so I you got to forget there yeah I'm leaving the burner on because I'm bringing it over here for you now what you're going to do is take this is by the way a really old spoon from Jack Opa's great grandma and she used to skim the goat's milk cream off just so you know history but let's use the other thing for scooping it in here you need to have four of these full and put them into here and then we're going to put it over there i got to get the cream because that's how you make caramel sauce and we're going to drizzle that on top okay and then just stir that up a little bit and we're going to put that in the fridge and i think i hear i don't hear the ice cream maker at the moment which is a really good thing that means the ice cream is ready and we'll be able to start putting the ice cream cake together how much you got? One more? Yeah. This is probably, and it's the simplest thing ever to make this caramel sauce. A few tricks. Now I'm going to put this on the heat. I put the butter in first for melting. And then we've added the uh, brown sugar. We're just going to let it melt up a little bit. You do not stir for very long. In fact, very little. I think the wooden spoon's out there, but I'm going to take this one. If you stir too much, it causes crystals in it. If you only give it a good stir when it gets started, then it doesn't have the crystals and it'll always be a smooth and creamy caramel sauce. So it's starting and then I, and you pour all the ingredients in once the butter's a bit melted and it's about three quarters of a cup of cream, depending on what you want for texture. Now all we do is just give it a big stir like this, one big stir. until everything's sort of infused like that. Now we're just gonna let it boil. Because it's like the candy rules. And always, always use a wooden spoon. How are we doing? Pretty good. Did you put it in the fridge already? Oh, let's put it in the fridge. Okay. And I think the custard's doing well. Oh, I got a big fridge and it's never big enough. So we're gonna have the the punch and who let me do it oh, yeah so you can see what we got going on here and it's just going to be delicious stick that up here too wow that would be a disaster if that shelf broke <laughs> what don't think like that in the old fridges that might have happened okay just kind of put that away for a minute because i think we might have ice cream. The ice cream's still going. I can see it. I can yeah. See it's still working. But we can get the crumbs out of the freezer. Uh, right? Crumbs. Yeah. Remember? We had uh, the bottoms put together with butter, an Oreo cookie, and a little bit of graham wafer crumbs because it kind of looks like nuts. And if you don't want to put nuts in because somebody has allergies or doesn't really like it, that'll be the reason. Well, girls, are you enjoying your summer holiday so far? Yeah. yeah. Do you like being on a cooking show? <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool, huh? I'm enjoying it. Yeah. It's really fun to have my granddaughters <laughs> helping me out with this. I think it's a lot of fun. The next step of our, we're going to let the um, caramel sauce, as you look here, it's a rolling boil. We're just going to let it go for about five minutes in a rolling boil. 
and then it'll come perfectly to texture. We're gonna put the lemons over in the fridge, if you don't mind, and the buttermilk. And I'm gonna go collect the ice cream. All right, we got ice cream. Do you wanna see this? Look, girls. Ooh! Yum! Look at that. That's how beautifully creamy it comes out. Now we're gonna take the whole paddle like this out. You're gonna see as I lift it out. Woohoo! Now you take a scraper and scrape that off. And I will do this. Can that scraper be my face? And your scraper, you don't have to scrape the paddle off perfectly because you know you're gonna to have to lick on it. Oh, how awful. Tradition. Every time we made this, it was a fight. Who's going to be able to get to lick the paddle? Look at all this beautiful ice cream. It's just creamy. I think I deserve to lick the paddle. Oh, we just, we have I to. I made butter. Okay, I don't want to put too much of this here. I'm going to put it in the freezer, this part, because we got to remember we got to make two sections of the ice cream. Right. Right. So I'm going to put this in the freezer as we wait. You can have a good look at it. It's really beautifully creamy. I'm going to shut off the caramel sauce while I'm standing here. That's just going to be a drizzle that we put over top. Oh, I should show it. Beautiful. But it needs to cool down just a hair before we serve. And I'm just going to stick this into the freezer because we got to make a two-layered ice cream cake right now. That was the girls' decision. So Shall the paddle licking begin? You can, put the, you can quickly lick a paddle, but we have to get the ice cream cake together. Uh, ah. right here. I want some too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this will be the traditional paddle licking. Uh, <laughs> it would be no fun if you didn't. Do I get it on this too? No. <laughs> I was sure. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe, maybe you should go over. Maybe you should go over the. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll put it in the freezer. Enough, enough. We'll put it in the freezer for later. <laughs> because we have actually a job to do. Oh, okay. would you look? Uh, did I step in that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, who's having more fun? I remember when I was doing a, a show a while back and I said, I was making pasta and I said, oh, you know, it's more fun when the grandkids are here, but it's just more of a mess. But then I forgot to put the guard on and I made more of a mess than they ever made. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got to clean up our mess a little, enough fun. Let's get this going. Now the ice cream's melting. So what are we doing in the first layer? Um, Oreos. Okay. So there's a crumb, bring it to this side. All our horsing around, we're gonna never get done. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what we do now is, you see this? I'm just mixing it all up nicely together. And you're putting some Oreo crushed crumbs in there, about half of them, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, a little more. There we go, and they're gonna go between the layers, some of this, right? Yep. So, right there, that. Just mix it in really fast like this, and Danae, I'm going to get you on the other side of me here. Okay. To, or in the front of me, I don't oh, care. Okay. To start patting that in right. Should I need a glove? Or? No, I think gripping. Okay. I think our hands have been in a lot of water today, right? Okay. Ooh, look at that. And this is just the one layer. Oh, we got quite a bit for this layer. Maybe we'll take a little bit back. Up, yeah. Just to be sure. <laughs> Feel like okay. Now pat that in there. And I'll put this into a container and put it in the freezer as well because we want to have enough room in there to put the next layer in, right? And that's going to have what? How, for the, which la layer? The next layer. I think we have a little much on the, the next layer. layer. That's okay, I can easily take a little out. But we have to work fast, right? More. We need more out. Yes. We need more out than that. Nope, it's good. We'll pile the other one right up. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll get the other ice cream. And we're going to put, what is that? What are those called? M&M's. M&M's. And it turns into what? Oh kind of rainbow. rainbow. Yeah. Do you ah. want to grab the ice cream out of the freezer, please? <laughs> Let me put the music back on. Okay. Now i got to wipe this off, right? No, 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 the ice cream in the Which bottom. Which ice cream? In the bottom. How much ice cream? In the bottom. Bottom, uh, like open bottom, up bottom? the blue tray. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there we are. It's there. a treasure chest. Oh, 
it's so much ice cream. Okay, get the stuff in the middle that you want to put in there. Put this back in the freezer. Cool. And then you have to work fast. That's why I'm kind of uh, panicky Wait, here. This? Sprinkle it in. If you don't work fast, you're going to have a melted cake before you even get a chance to freeze it. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, Ooh. get this all in the layers. Now, ice cream oh, start for that. with some of those in here, right? Wait, we need to put those in there, though. Woohoo! Oh, man, look at that. Beautiful. Wait, these go in here? Yeah. Okay, you can do it. And don't put them all in. Remember, you got to put some on top. And you mix it up and make a rainbow out of it and put them on top. And I'll get this back in the freezer. Because we have do you want me to also do just you want plain ice cream saved so that we can use it just with caramel sauce or with raspberries. Okay, so mix. Quick, quick, quick. Or else it's going to melt. <laughs> panic, panic city. You don't want the ice cream to melt. That's just bad. No, that's awful. It's awful. Ooh, look at the rainbows. Rainbow. Do you want to show? Want to show? Yeah. Look. Rainbows. Okay, now get it in there. It's melting really fast. And, okay. and only top it as high as we can top it. You know, like don't put too much. Right? I can help you. Okay. Hold the bowl. Like that. Denise putting on some music for us because I guess we're just too noisy. <laughs> and then this has to go into the freezer after we get the topping on. You got girls quickly get the decorating done on top. Look at how nice and colorful it is. And I'll get this back into the freezer. Start for decorating? Us. Yes. Come on, Denise. Get the crumbs on first. The only reason we're rushing is because, Wait, like I said, here. everything crumbles will melt if okay. we don't. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Ooh, look at that. It's amazing how uh, much fits in, uh, in this freezer drawer. Okay, that's good. And maybe this one. this way so we can see. Okay, now what? Get the Skittles on there? Or are you doing that last? We're going to do the last. M&M's last. It's so much fun to do these kind of recipes when you get your grandchildren. So because, yeah, you know, it's things that everybody enjoys. Who doesn't like ice cream or ice cream one, cake? And one in the middle. Nice one. Nice pretty one. Oh, no, this one. Oh, okay. That's a nice one. Okay, and we'll then M&M's. And we got to quickly get that in the freezer. Right? Oh, I hear music again. Okay. Whoa. Load it up. Wait. Okay, show uh, show Cole what we got going on. Okay, let's get it in here. Okay. And then, uh, wrong drawer. And then magically, magically, we're going to pull out another ice cream cake because, you know, we had to make one last night. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to present it. So that one's getting put away for later. And... You can show this one. Take the cellophane off. Yeah, it's okay. That. Right? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to set that over here or over here. That's perfect. And we're going to unmold it. We might have to unmold it with, um, with a knife. Okay. Yeah, and we're going to serve some because. <laughs> I think we got a whole bunch of people who are waiting for some ice cream cake. Yeah. You'll see how pretty it is. Well. You know what's good to do is put a, cold, a hot cloth. That's another yeah. trick. You just take a, a warm cloth to the outside of the thing like this, you know, and it helps to melt it down without melting it down too hard. The good thing too about the homemade ice cream is it gets more solid than a bought ice cream. So when you've got an ice cream cake like that, it doesn't melt off too easily. We're gonna drizzle it up. We need a little bit of mint, Desiree, to put on the sides of, yeah, to make it pretty. So you can put one in each one of the plates, if you will. Ah, uh, the plate. Okay, now we should be able to open it. Let's try it. Okay, look at Ooh. that, voila. Look oh, at that. Oh, look at that. Okay, so now we need to have um, the plates, right? We need the plates so we can serve here, them. Here, Want to pass a plate at a time here? We're gonna serve up. And then we gotta put a drizzle of caramel sauce on it. And Ooh, like I said, yes. we put a sprig of mint that we dug from our garden, right? Here, Desi, you'll pass on the plates and I'll go get the caramel sauce. Excuse me. Yeah. 
The first one is always the hardest to dig out. Always. Always. We figure it out. We did that too. What, didn't we just have your birthday and we did this? <laughs> oh, I remember. That was great. And we made. First um, piece of didn't we make an ice cream cake too for you? Yeah. Oh, the, I know what it is. There's a paper underneath. Oh boy. Okay, never mind. We'll get it. I'm gonna put it right on the bowl. It's easier off the tin, right? Ah, now we're winning. Ah, yeah, we'll get it now. See, that'll work. Because then you can cut right down. See, the tin had an edge to it. And it's kind of hard on your knife, too, so. And the crust is fairly hard. And once you get that first one, that's a pretty big piece. Who's going to eat all that? Me. Me. I feel like there's several <laughs> people here will, that will or eat Paul. all that. He was raising his hand, too. Okay. Now we're going to keep this pan handy because we can put it back on, right? Next plate. Okay, next plate. Ready? Look how pretty it looks from the side. Oh, that doesn't look pretty side. There, the pretty side. There we go. Okay. And not too much caramel sauce because just for the drizzle. I drizzle a little bit on the plate to make it pretty. Another plate, please. Well, folks. It's been a wonderful time having, first of all, both of you girls here helping me out. It's been a, it's always fun in the kitchen having my granddaughters with me, but especially being here with Access and being able to do this together. We're going to quickly put this back. We've got six plates, so we can scoop up a couple more. Tasty little cake, I'll tell you. Oh, we can leave that one down. You can stand them up as you decorate it. There we go. Now I believe okay, we have put this away. ice cream cake. And I need this put right back into the freezer so that we don't let it thaw. That's the only thing about ice cream cake. Can you do that for me? Find a space in one of those freezer spots. Desiree? Appreciate it, thanks. Thank you very much, folks, for coming out and hanging out with us here at Sammy's Cottage Kitchen. I'm looking forward to all of you coming back and spending some time with me again. And I can't wait for the girls to be here with me again, too. We do this every year. And this was the first year we could all get together and the access could come out and do the do what we needed them to do for the filming. And uh, the girls were super because they didn't even ever do this before, but they were just naturals. We got Should butter, we, we got sauce, punch? we got ice cream, we got everything. We didn't bring out the punch. We didn't bring out the punch. Why don't you bring out the punch? Okay. Okay. We, need we also have the punch that we made. It's nicely chilled in the good thing she remembered. And we got beautiful glasses for that too, for serving them. Here you go. That's what it looks like. It's pink, it's pretty, and it's delicious. And I'm not tall enough to get these out of the cupboard. Everybody take a sip, grab a spoon, and take a sample. Desiree, you wanna sample the ice cream? Yeah. Should we call Opa in? All right, come on in. Yeah, Opa. come on in. You gotta get a taste of the ice cream. All right. And I wanna see some nice faces when you taste this. <laughs> Show everybody. <laughs> We need some more. Wow, that looks crazy. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, boy. I knew he was out there churning the ice cream, so he had a chance. It was the most important job. It was so, because without the ice cream, we couldn't make an ice cream cake. So what I wanted to say to everybody, again, is it's wonderful family time in the summertime, and so happy to have all of you there. You can decorate with a little of these. Yeah. Have everybody out in the summertime and. Spend summer time with the people you love because we all get busy with in every direction. My motto is keep on keeping on no matter what because life can kick you sometimes but you can't let it. And that, like in my song that we played here called uh, I Got This, it's really all about that. I want you to taste, let everybody know what it tastes like. Can you eat now? Yeah, please taste, yeah. let everybody know that if it's any good or not because you know. Who knows? Thank you. I, I gotta taste it too. Okay. So until next time, Thank you. I wish you were all here having a sample with us. 
It's uh, probably pretty bad. Oh, that's terrible. Mmm. <laughs> Terribly good. Mm. Okay, these guys have to wait, but they get their turn real soon. Thank you very much to Axis for coming on out. Enjoy your summer. I'll see you on the next show. Until then, bye from Sammy's Cottage Kitchen. Bye. And Danae, Desiree, and Opa and me. Oh, this is good. Mm -hmm. really oh, this good. is good. This is good. Mm -mm. Mm, love the caramel sauce. <laughs> <laughs>